one of the Navy SEALs who killed Osama bin Laden has issued a strong warning about insane Putin. Rob O'Neill, from Montana, was part of SEAL Team 6 that took out the terrorist leader who organized 9-11. The soldier, who completed 400 combat missions over 16 years of service said that Vladimir Putin had lost his marbles by launching an invasion of Ukraine. But he also lambasted his own country's response to the invasion. He was taken back by his country's response to the invasion and said that America had responded with weakness. The veteran, who was decorated 52 times, slammed President Joe Biden's administration after it cancelled a nuclear missile test last weekend while Russian troops bombed innocent citizens. O'Neill claimed the Pentagon was more worried about its green agenda, to combat climate change instead of trying to combat Putin, the Daily Mail reported. He said, you don't defeat a crazy man with nuclear weapons, with weakness. It's like trying to stop a schoolyard bully by appeasing him, it's nonsense. When I was in the service, the main concern was whether you could perform the task at hand, now they, the Pentagon, are wasting time and resources making warships green. The unfortunate truth is Russia and China are laughing at us when we talk about climate change in the military. O'Neill admitted that he hadn't believed Russia would invade Ukraine because he made the mistake of trying to make sense of an insane man's decision. The veteran feared that after the heavy loss of its jets and helicopters, Russia would move to long-range artillery and shelling of Ukraine, but he hoped Ukraine's resistance would continue to prove defiant and cause Russia to suffer losses to the point it would be willing to sit down and discuss peace. O'Neill also admitted he found footage of Russian helicopters being blown out the air unsettling after he had had friends die under similar circumstances. O'Neill also claimed that most Americans got their ideas of war from TV and social media. This comes as the Russian invasion of Ukraine continues well into its third week, with the Russian shelling of civilians continuing.